A senior Iranian commander hails the grand achievements of the armed forces and their high power, saying the Islamic Republic is among the top 10 countries in the world in the space industry. Deputy Commander of the Iranian Army's Air Force, Brigadier General Ali Akbar Talebzadeh, made the remarks on Saturday, during a military parade in the southern province of Bashur, on the occasion of Sacred Defense Week, which marks an eight-year war of aggression on Iran, by then-Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein in the 1980s. He said Iran is proceeding with the path toward achieving self-sufficiency in manufacturing indigenous systems to improve national security. Iran says its successful launch of Chamarin-1 research satellite gave a clear response to those irrational powers who impose sanctions on the country. The country has succeeded in acquiring the know-how to repair the most sophisticated weapons and the systems related to them, and breaking the monopoly in manufacturing fighters and different types of drones, he added. The commander emphasized that Iran is now on par with the powers and possession of military technology. Talebzada noted that unity among all Iranian organizations, armed forces, army, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, voluntary forces and people during the eight years of sacred defense prevented the enemies from achieving their goals. He reiterated that the Iranian armed forces are precisely monitoring all developments in the region and the world and are prepared to defend national security. In addition, the head of the Iranian Space Agency, ISA, says the Islamic Republic plans to send between five to seven domestically developed satellites into space by the end of the current Iranian calendar year ending on March 20, 2025. Hassan Salarius stated on Monday that his agency aims to have several satellite launches this year just like the previous year, noting they will be carried out by the Aerospace Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps, IRGC, the Ministry of Defense, the Aerospace Industries Organization, AIO, and a number of foreign space companies. Solaria noted that the ISA would have two foreign launches this year, adding that homegrown Tolo 3, Sunrise 3, and Zephyr 2, Victory 2, satellites, will be sent into orbit with foreign space launch vehicles, SLVs, in upcoming months. He added that the Iranian Space Agency is planning sub-orbital launches, in cooperation with the IRGC Aerospace Force. Homegrown COSER satellite, designed and manufactured by the private sector, will also be put into space this year, Solaria said. On September 14, Iran successfully sent into orbit the domestically developed Chamarin-1 research satellite, registering another impressive stride in the country's space program. The satellite was put into orbit at an altitude of 550 kilometers, 341 miles, above the Earth's surface, on board a homegrown Keem-100 space launch vehicle, SLV. Several hours into the launch, the Iranian research satellite sent its first signals.